engines. They are the things that make cars go, they are the things that make planes fly, but they are also the things that make games be created. The gaming industry today is bigger than the film industry, it's also bigger than the music industry, and it's even bigger than Elon Musk's ego, believe it or not. It may also be bigger than the adult entertainment industry. I didn't really want to do research on that because I didn't want specific things to show up in my history, but never mind. And with gaming more popular now, more than ever, it's only natural that you'll find people who want to be a part of that. Game developers. Game developers that want to build bigger and better games than the very games that they were inspired by. What does it take to be a game developer? Well, a lot less than it used to if I'm honest. Almost anybody can pick up a game engine and make a game within a day. And although some would see that as a negative thing and think about the increase of shovelware that you'd see, I can only see it as a good thing. More people, more development, more joys of learning the gaming industry in and of itself. It's something I always love to see. But where do you start exactly? It's a choice some aspiring developers think they have to make. But in reality, there is no restriction on game engine or the amount of game engines you use, unless you're trying to use OHR RPG CE from 25 years ago. That's not going to work as intended. So here's five of the best free game engines that you need to use. CryEngine, although much less known than some of its counterparts, is a strong and stable engine which is responsible for having some big name games made in it. Crisis, Kingdom Come Deliverance and Prey, just to name a few. In recent years, it has become a little bit more overshadowed by the success of some other engines, but Crytek, the developers, have maintained a high standard in the engine. Naturally, it feels familiar in its look and style, and it's perfectly capable of pushing some next level visuals, if you know what you're doing that is. It's not an engine I'm extremely familiar with, but I know enough of it to get by. And if you've used any other engine, then you'll definitely have no problems getting to grips with this one. It's easy to pick up, learn, and just run with any idea you've got. Game Maker much like CryEngine, is one of the lesser known engines out there, but it doesn't mean it deserves any less street cred. It brands itself as the ultimate 2D game engine, and although I wouldn't quite go that far, it's still a really good engine for making 2D games and it does indeed still compete with the big boys in the game engine world today, because you can indeed make some epic 2D games in it. You can quite comfortably pick up Game Maker and, without any tutorials or guidance, make your own retro style 2D game in just a few days. Sure, it takes a little bit of fumbling to get used to it, especially if you've never used a game engine before, but rest assured there are tutorials and help out there. It feels familiar and it is really easy to use. And if you've ever played the game Forager, you'll see what I mean when it comes to how cool games can look in Game Maker. Unity is one of those engines which everybody has heard about, but it does get a bad rep from time to time, and to be fair, maybe quite deservedly so. But again, it doesn't mean it's a bad engine. From a game developer's point of view, Unity is probably the easiest engine to just pick up and get straight to work on making a game. There are plenty of resources to help you get started too, like YouTube channels who make tutorials about Unity, like this channel right here, which you should subscribe to. Anyway, Unity is incredibly competent at holding its own in the game engine world. And with the ability to develop for so many modern devices, it's a must try for anybody starting out in the game development world. Even if it isn't the engine you end up staying with, it'll certainly give you more than enough insight into how these engines work and function. The Asset Store, which Unity has set up, is probably the biggest repository of game development assets on the internet. There is so much to find, and although it is community driven for the most part, it is always worth a look in the Asset Store to see what you can find. Whether you are looking for just a script, or just a music sample, sound effect, texture, model, anything at all, whether it is free or paid, you can probably find it in the Unity Asset Store. Unreal Engine also has an asset store, and although not as big in its content, it's certainly a great place to find assets. And the great thing about Unreal is that Epic, the developers behind Unreal, 
are extremely upfront about the costs and fees in place to use Unreal. For hobbyists, it's free, much like any other engine out there. But there's no telling when you'll suddenly create a masterpiece and have to fork out some money to Epic. And indeed, masterpieces can be created in Unreal. You'll have seen them for yourself. It has a solid reputation as one of the best and most versatile engines out there, and that reputation is justified. It's easy to pick up, it's easy to use, and if you're using blueprints, it can help you learn and develop games so much faster. C++ is not too difficult to learn, that's the coding language Unreal uses. It is industry standard these days, so it's never too difficult to find any material on Google that you need to help you learn C++, which in turn will help you build some epic games in Unreal. Godot is probably an engine a lot of you may not have heard of, but it is an engine that you all should try. What makes Godot great is that it's completely open source, and although most of the games you see in it are 2D, fantastic looking games I might add, the 3D capability of Godot is simply amazing. The fact you don't even need to install the engine and wait a lifetime for it to build a project like Unity is such a benefit. It's a quick and efficient engine which is easy to use. There's less coding involved in developing some games, and although that same argument could be made for all engines, the GD script language, which it uses, is easier to pick up than a bundle of Benjamins. The engine itself feels very familiar, and its technique and design is a little different with its nodes. But once you've got to grips with how these nodes and scenes work, you will be making some awesome games in no time at all. Oh, and while we're at it, no, it's not Godot. It is indeed Godot. But well, that actually makes me think that the very name of the engine is a marketing tactic. If you've got a bunch of people arguing over the name of a game engine, surely that would spread the word. People would be intrigued by what it is, go and have a look, and then people are downloading your game engine. So there are five of the best free game engines out there that you should try. I did mention another one earlier, OHR RPG CE. That's a game engine I used a long, long time ago. I'll be honest, I don't even know if it exists anymore. Maybe it does, maybe it's better. I remember it being DOS based. Anyway, there are some lesser known ones, and that isn't to say that those lesser known ones are bad. They might not be. I just haven't been able to try them out yet. But have you tried any other engines out and think that they are better than the five you just heard about? Let me know what you think in the comments below.